My brothers and sisters, what is going on? Still sermon in the house on this late Monday night with another video. Uh, before I start, I just want to say that I originally recorded this after my Kenny Pickett take, but uh, I'll explain why I am re-recording this right now. So uh, before I get in, as always, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. Links are posted down below. And if you haven't already, go follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. Um, links are also posted in the description box. I think I just said that twice. But anyway, uh, getting on into this video. <sighs> Devin Bush, you know, there has not... I, I can't recall one player on the Pittsburgh Steelers who has disappointed me more with the exception of Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell. I can't remember one Steeler that has disappointed me more than Devin Bush. So, if you don't, so in case you uh, don't know, or in case you don't remember, 2019 draft comes up. Pittsburgh Steelers trade up with the Denver Broncos, 10th overall in the first round, and we snag Devin Bush out of Michigan. And this guy was supposed to be Ryan Shazier's replacement. And for his rookie season in 2019, he played very well. And he played very well the first parts of 2020. And then he suffered a really bad ACL injury. I believe it was against the Baltimore Ravens in 2020, which obviously took him out for the rest of the season. And he came back last year. And this guy was like MIA. He was like on a milk carton. You couldn't see him all year last year. And now granted, last year, myself and a lot of other Steeler fans were cutting him some slack and giving him the benefit of the doubt. We were defending him. Because I do understand that ACLs are probably the most difficult injury to come back from. I know it firsthand. I've seen it, you know, with... Uh, High school players, some college players I've seen. I've seen it. ACLs are very difficult to come back from, if you can even come back from them at all. So I understand that. But last year, especially in that Charger game that we played last year, where he kind of absorbed himself into the, into the uh, Charger O-line and allowed, I think it was Eckler, to run up the gut for a touchdown against us, this guy, this ACL injury has really not just not even set him back. It's messed up his head. He's scared to play. Like he doesn't have that aggression factor anymore. And you know, I, I'm just gonna say it. I posted on my Instagram earlier today. Do I want to give up on Devin Bush? No, I don't. But see, here's the thing. You can't. We can't keep saying, oh, you know, he's still recovering from his ACL injury. Oh, you know, he's still hurt. That's not, that's not even true because he's on the field playing. So he's 100% healthy to go. There is no excuse why he should be playing like this. Now, again, last year, you could use that because it was a legitimate reason. He was probably still recovering from it. But now this year, and there's this one, and now I'm getting into why I'm re-recording this, okay? I'm re-recording this because I bumped into uh, a fellow Steeler fan of mine on YouTube who I've been subscribed to for many years now. Big shout out to my boys, the Steel Twins. Go uh, sub up to their channel. They're closing in on on uh, 9,000 subscribers. Shout out to you boys. You guys, your guys' channel is awesome. Go sub them up. But um, they made a video similar to this and they showed this clip in their video and I'm going to show it now this is from Saturday's game against the Seahawks now you see right there Bush has like a clear lane to make a play and he has a good opportunity to stop the running back and instead of being physical and aggressive right there and using his speed he just like stops mid-play and allows the running back to just get right past him. 
I, I mean, what is wrong with this guy? Like, see what I mean? Like, he's playing scared. He, he's playing like he doesn't want to get hurt again. And, you know, like I said about Mason Rudolph, you can't play to not get injured. You're never going to succeed that way because now I'm, teeter, I'm teetering on calling Devin Bush a bust. I'm not there yet, but I'm like rounding third and heading home with calling him a bust. Like, I'm almost there. Okay? This guy's looking like the next Jarvis Jones. Okay? Which was probably the biggest bust I've seen the Steelers have aside from Lima Swede. That's what Devin Bush is looking like. He's looking like the exact opposite of what he was supposed to be. You know, instead of being quick, physical, decisive, and intuitive, he's looking slow, you know, under-pursuing, and honestly kind of careless. Like, he's not putting in any kind of effort at all. Like, he just thinks he's too good for the field. And I'll tell you this right now, if I was the if I was head coach of the Steelers and he came back to the bench after that play, I would go I, I would tell him straight up to his face, okay, Devin, two things. Either you're still hurt or you're not giving a hundred percent effort. And I would bench him. I don't care if it was preseason, I would bench him. Zero effort, zero care, and not putting in a hundred percent effort, that is something I I, I have zero tolerance in. Okay, I won't tolerate it. If you're on the field, you're going to bust it every single play. And Devin Bush, I have to say, I am incredibly disappointed with him. Like I said, I understand ACLs are a tough injury to come back from. But we can't keep using that because it's no longer a legitimate excuse or, or, or a legitimate reason. Now if people say it, it's an excuse... He's 100% healthy, he's been practicing, he's been put on the field, he's good to go. You can't keep using the ACL injury, it's coming up on two years since it happened. You can't keep using that. And honestly, if I was the Steelers GM, I would not give this guy a fifth year right now. I really wouldn't. That's why this is a prove-it year for Devin Bush. You know, the only way that I would give this guy a fifth year right now is is if he returns to 2019 form, and let's just say I don't think that's going to happen. You know, there, like I said, there is literally no excuse. The D-line doesn't really have to play, you know, all that tough, and they don't have to, you know, adjust to, you know, his speed, like to his speed now, you know, because we got Miles Jack in the offseason who was supposed to help this guy. This isn't a knock at Miles Jack at all. Miles Jack did his job Saturday night. He had a really good game. You know? So Miles Jack is supposed to come in and help this guy, but it looks like he's just helping himself right now. And speaking of that, these two had all training camp so far and all off season to get some kind of practice with each other going to help out the interior linebacker and to help out the coverage linebacking core. Because I would say aside from parts of the secondary and parts of the rush defense, the interior linebackers is the biggest hole on this defense. Devin Bush, we traded up to get this guy 10th overall in 2019, which is something the Steelers hardly do, and this guy is looking like a massive bust so far. And I made a video about this guy on my on my old channel that got terminated, and I got killed for it. Now I'm looking a lot more credible with it. So Devin Bush, you better step up your game. Because when I saw you not even under-pursue that running back from the Seahawks, but not even try to tackle him, that right there was like, you know what? I really don't care if we move on from Devin Bush. Because right now, I'm really losing patience with this guy. You know, like I said, I don't want to give up on him, but if the way that he played last year and the way that, and especially the way he played Saturday night, is going to translate to this season. Devin Bush, take the Greyhound out of Pittsburgh and get out of here because we're going to find another interior linebacker 
regardless if you if if we're going to keep you fifth year or not. It really is disappointing. It's very disappointing what Devin Bush has come to. Showing everyone that he can use his speed to be a game changer and a and an absolute playmaker to playing like he just don't he just don't want to get hurt and he just doesn't, you know, have to give any effort at all. That's something that the Pittsburgh Steelers have no tolerance for. Being a linebacker for a defensive proud franchise and a franchise that is proud of their linebackers, like the Pittsburgh Steelers, it's not just a privilege. It's an honor. And you better play like you're honored to be a linebacker for this logo, boy. And that's all I gotta say. As always, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Links are posted. Steel Sermon, check it on out for the day. May God be with you all.